it's complete on the second stage. So at this point, propellants. Stage two, lock fluid is complete. Oh, there it is. Um, we have a, a couple of call outs uh, during the start of the broadcast to indicate that our fuel and oxidizer are fully loaded as we're getting into the final 90 seconds of the countdown, Gas we're going to see up, has started. some venting from the transporter erector, clearing out the lines in preparation for launch. And then at about T minus one minute, Falcon 9 will transition into startup, pressurizing for flight, and then we'll get into our final go for launch. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD is go for launch. Launch director pull for launch. Just about 35 seconds from liftoff. All systems go. Range is green. Let's watch transporter 11. 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off Falcon 9, go transporter 11. Five seconds into flight, beautiful Power into view the nominal. of the California coast at Vandenberg. We've cleared the tower and the launch complex four east. We've begun throttling down those Merlin 1D engines on the first stage in preparation for max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic stresses during ascent. Max Q. And with that, we've got five events coming up back to back. The first of those is going to be at main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where we'll shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for stage separation. The center pusher will separate the first and second stages. Simultaneously, the first stage will begin a flip maneuver to start making its way back for its land landing attempt, while the second stage starts up its Merlin vacuum engine for SES-1 to take our transporter satellites to orbit. Uh, finally, there'll be the start of the boost back burn on the first stage. That's going to be the first stage lighting its Merlin 1D engines to make its way back towards land and a land landing at landing zone. Uh, four. So coming up, Miko followed by stage step, the flip maneuver, second engine start, and boost back. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. So successful confirmation. Second engine start is, is on its way, taking the payloads to orbit. Coming up just about 10 seconds from now, we're going to expect to see fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And 
there is successful confirmation of fairing separation. You can also get a, a good view of the payloads flying on today's mission. And a great shot there, you can see a fairing half returning back towards the California coast. As a reminder, we will be recovering those fairings and refurbishing them for use on a future mission. Now, next major milestone is boost back shutdown on the first stage. Stage one boost back shutdown. And with that, the first stage is making its way back towards its next major activity, which will be the entry burn starting at around the T plus six minute mark. You can see the grid fins deploying on the first stage. We're seeing some white gas there. That's expected on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, those are our attitude control system that is helping orient the stage to get the heat shield pointed in the right direction for the upcoming entry burn. Now the Merlin vacuum on the right-hand side of your screen is in the first of four planned burns for today's mission. This first burn is getting the transporter satellites into their insertion orbit. This burn expected to last until just past T plus eight minutes. Falcon 9 is on a nominal trajectory. Now we're just about 50 seconds from the start of the entry burn on the first stage. Now the entry burn uh, is used to slow down the vehicle as we start getting into the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. That helps us slow down the vehicle a little bit faster than if we were just using the drag from uh, aerodynamic forces, and that would add a bunch of stress to the vehicle. So this helps us uh, make the entry a little more gentle and helps us to refurbish and reuse the boosters more easily for future missions. Following the entry burn, we'll expect to do a landing burn, but that'll be much closer to our landing zone. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is successful Stage startup one, entry burn shut down. and shutdown of the entry burn three of the Merlin 1D engines. Now the stage is going to be orienting itself towards its next major milestone, which is going to be the landing burn. We'll ignite just a single Merlin engine. Stage one FTS has saved. Now that landing burn will rapidly bring the stage's speed down to zero. Landing legs will deploy and we'll hopefully see trajectory. a nice soft touchdown at landing zone four. That's just uh, a short distance away from the launch pad. That'll mark the 12th flight and recovery for this stage booster if we're successful. Stage one landing bird. marks the 12th landing for this booster and marks SpaceX's 340th landing of an orbital class rocket. Next up, just about 20 seconds, will be the Merlin vacuum shutdown Seco second engine cutoff number one. Stage two FTS has saved. Uh, 
And Vec shut down. And there is successful shutdown of the Merlin vacuum engine for the insertion orbit. Nominal parking orbit. And that call out indicating that we are in the target orbit uh, for insertion of today's mission around planet Earth. So with that, the next event is gonna be coming up at around the T plus 50 minute mark. That'll be the second engine start uh, for the second time of our Merlin vacuum engine. We'll be back around in about 40 minutes to bring you live coverage of SES-2, followed shortly after by the beginning of our payload deployments. So until then, enjoy the views from space and we'll talk to you soon.